Hello everybody, I'm Harley from Garden NFL, and in today's video we're going to take a closer look at my red alama tree, a technical name, Anona diversifolia. And now I'm actually really excited to show you my red alama tree because once I came back from Colombia, I actually found it to be flowering. Now this year is actually my second year of my red alama tree flowering, and this year is actually the year that I actually hand pollinated it. So I'm really excited to share with you my red alama tree because my fingers are crossed and I'm hoping to get my first alama fruit because I actually have never tried it. So in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at my red alama flower, and also we're gonna take a look at some flower buds that are actually forming. Now I also wanna take this time to show you my brand new sugar apple t-shirts that I've been working on. Now these t-shirts will actually be available on my website, www.gardenfl.com, and I actually have much more Ananasia t-shirt designs coming. I can't wait to share with you my Atemodia Pet Pack Chong design that I've been working on. And I just really love the Ananasia fruit family. So I'm really excited to share with you this beautiful t-shirt design. So that being said, we're gonna take a closer look at my red alama tree. And also we're gonna take a closer look at the beautiful red alama flower. So let's get started. So here we are at my food forest in Bradenton, Florida. Now the date is actually July 4th of the year 2021. And as you can see right up here is my red alama tree. And as we get closer, you could see that the red alama actually stands about, I would say anywhere from eight to maybe 10 feet tall. As you can see here is a ladder just for comparison and we're actually going to need to climb the ladder just so we can see the red alama flower up there so we're going to go ahead and climb the ladder so we can take a better look at the beautiful red alama flower so like i said the red alama is known as anona diversifolia also it is known as anona macrophilia i believe now i'm not too sure why it has two botanical names if you know why you can maybe let me know in the comments below now as you see right here i am with my beautiful red alama tree and believe it or not, I actually planted this tree about last year, around this time, and it was actually about half this size. And I actually have never even pruned this red alama tree or actually tried to trim a branch or anything like that. Just because I want this tree to grow big. And I actually heard that this tree in their native environment grows really big. And also the alama fruit is known as the king of anonas, meaning that it is one of the biggest anona fruits. Now it's not the biggest, the biggest being jungle sop. But anyways, it is known as the king of the ananasia fruits just because of its taste. It's, it's known to have a really good yogurt berry taste. I've heard and this being the red alama you know most red ananasia fruits like the Lisa Atemoya have a berry flavor so I'm really excited to see if we can actually fruit this alama tree so let's take a closer look at the flower so here we are on top of the ladder but as you see right here is my beautiful red alama flower now this red alama is actually in a transition between female and male flower now this morning it was actually the female flower and that's when I pollinated it but now it is about five o'clock in the afternoon and as you can see it's transitioning to the male flower and you'll be able to tell that it's actually in transition to the male flower just because of how the petals are actually opening now let's take a closer look if we can actually see inside the alama flower now something I want to show you guys is actually inside it has a really bright red stigma and as you can actually tell the red alama is actually getting ready to release its pollen now I want to be very careful with this flower just because I did hand pollinate it this morning and I actually used sugar apple pollen and sugar apple pollen is known to be very viable out of all the ananasiers I grow here in my house in Brinkton, Florida, I believe sugar apple is the most viable, next being atemoya pollen. But another way you can easily tell that it's the red alama is number one, just because the flower itself is red and all my other ananasia trees don't have red flowers. They typically have green flowers. And in other ways you can really tell that it's the red alama is just because of beautiful red leaves that you see all around the alama tree. Now you can actually tell that when the leaves first appear, they, they first appear to be red, but as they tend to grow a little more and mature, they tend to kind of grow out of the red and more into a kind of a green stage. Now another reason why I really love the alama tree is just because it's new growth. It actually tends to be very red as well as the branching off. Now believe it or not, that's not the only red alama flower I have. If we look directly up right here, you can tell that I actually have another red alama flower forming. So I actually have another shot at pollinating it if this red alama flower doesn't take the one I pollinated this morning. And as you can see, this flower is just very beautiful because it's kind of hiding at the very top and it gets a really good amount of sunlight. So either one of these flowers, I hope it really takes. And I do have a friend in, in Pine Island that actually pollinated his alama with sugar apple pollen, I believe. So I know that it will be able to take. So we just have our fingers crossed to really see if our red alama flower will actually take or not. Now I want to see if I can actually get you guys a closer look at the stigma just because it's really red and pretty. But on the screen, I'll actually provide you a photo of the red alama stigma inside that actually fell. I actually had a flower that fell many weeks ago. So overall, my red alama is doing great. Now I actually did worry a little bit because at first the red alama had signs of dieback and it was because I actually started fertilizing my Nona's this year, last year, I didn't really fertilize them, but this year I added Osmocote to my llama and I might've slipped my hand and added a little too much. I did get some dieback on the leaves, but once we actually started getting some rain and it kind of equalized the fertilizer, 
the llama started looking really good and started pushing out all this beautiful new growth and as you see not only is it pushing out new growth everywhere but it actually has some very promising bud spots in different parts of the branches so i'm really looking forward for this red llama tree to start filling in more and like i said this red llama tree sends about maybe 10 feet tall it's actually very tall as you see the floor is right down there and as you can tell i'm actually standing on a ladder but regardless like i said i really want my red llama tree to grow and believe it or not, I think that this is just the very beginning for the red llama tree to start to flower. I do believe that we have much more flowers coming on the way. And I do believe that those flowers will be budding out of these bud spots that I have all over my uh, branches only because this year the red llama was actually a little late to produce flowers. And I think that is just because the lack of water that I actually was able to provide this year. And now that we have these abundant rains in Florida, uh, it is currently hurricane season. If you don't know, today is July 4th and you know, in the month of July is when we start getting a lot of abundant rain and you know it's hurricane season so regardless we're gonna get a lot of rain which the llama love so overall i'm just really excited for this red llama flower and i actually want to show you a comparison of the size between these llama flowers because they can range in sizes for sure but this llama flower actually is about a medium to large size now i'm gonna actually be grabbing another ananasi flower we're gonna be going to grab a sugar apple flower because i have abundant of sugar apple flowers all around my house here in Bradenton, Florida. So let's just show you guys the size comparison of the sugar apple flower compared to a uh, red llama flower. Now, not to confuse anyone, this is Anona squamosa sugar apple. Now, as you can see, we actually have some sugar apples already forming everywhere, but we don't need all these sugar apple flowers because we don't want a lot of these flowers uh, competing with the fruit already forming. So like I said, we're gonna do just a little side-by-side -side comparison of two different ananasi flowers that I really love. One being the common green sugar apple anana squamosa flower. Now you can see easily the size difference. Now believe it or not, but the anana diversifolia red llama flower is actually much bigger than the sugar apple flower. And you can see obviously the size and color, how it differs, but it's just really beautiful to see, you know, different ananasi flowers and kind of how they look like. And as you see, the red llama flower is just much more beautiful in my opinion, but the red llama flower actually does not come as often as a sugar apple flower. So that's the only downside of the red llama is, you know, typically you don't get as much flowers produced as the sugar apple. So when you do have flowers on your red llama or anona diversifolia, you really do want to hand pollinate it just because it does not set fruit well on its own. The red llama, they're known for not being typically the best uh, ananasia tree to set fruits. For example, my Nadai Vietnamese sugar apple sets fruit very easily in Florida. Almost, I do not have to hand pollinate my Nadai Vietnamese sugar apple because it sets fruits on its own. But this Anuna diversifolia, red llama, you are gonna want to hand pollinate it to assure fruits, especially here in Florida where the flower is kind of rare. You know, you wanna do whatever you can to hand pollinate it and you know, just guarantee it to set fruit. Now I do have actually friends here in South Florida that actually had uh, an Anona diversifolia alama and it had set fruit on its own but I believe that it's very lucky and although I know it's possible if you just really want to try to guarantee a higher fruit success rate then you just want to go ahead and hand pollinate it but as you can see the comparison of these two beautiful ananasia flowers and here are the flowers side by side now this red llama flower actually still has quite a while before it fattens up and blooms but as you can see right here they're kind of the same size the Anona squamosa and Anona diversifolia flower but as you can tell, these two species of flowers do have their differences. As you can tell, the red llama flower is much more kind of cylindrical and kind of oval shaped. And it is kind of a, a little pointy. It kind of looks like a little triangle, while the Anona squamosa flower is more elongated and not as kind of uh, formed, not as kind of shaped as the red llama flower. So overall, I'm just really looking forward to my red llama tree to produce this beautiful fruit. Like I said, I'll keep you guys all updated on the red llama flower and, and how it produces. Now, by tomorrow, the red llama will actually be in male stage, so it will actually be releasing its pollen. And I'll actually be collecting the pollen just to see if I can pollinate some other anonas around my yard. Or I might save the pollen just to pollinate the next red llama flower that is actually forming that we saw just a few moments ago. And this is actually extra, but I actually started to do an air layer on my red llama. Now, this red llama air layer is actually a few months old, maybe a month and a half old, and it actually stuck. So I'm really excited to see what it will do if we'll be able to you know air layer a red llama because it is such a cool tree and it'll be really cool to air layer this and as you see the red llama has all sorts of visitors look at that lizard just watching us make this video he's making sure that we do not touch his red llama tree because this is his tree it's not our tree it's his tree 
All right, everyone, I hope you really enjoyed this video on my beautiful red llama tree and flower. Like I said, I'll keep you all updated on the red llama flower, and I hope it really sets fruit. I'll actually be able to know if it sets fruit within a couple of days, you know. Now, what I mean by that is if, if the flower actually falls off, then that means it actually did not pollinate, the pollen did not set the fruit, and that means, you know, the tree will just abort it. But if it actually did set fruit, if it actually did set pollen, you know, that means a, that means a, a llama will actually start forming the fruit. It will actually stick on and we'll see the little red llama baby fruit form in a couple of days. Now, like I said, my fingers are crossed, but if this red llama flower does not pollinate, we actually have another one to try. And I'll actually save the pollen for that red llama flower just because I really want to try the red llama fruit. And I really think that I have a good chance of pollinating this red llama this year because last year, like I said, I held off on pollinating it just because I wanted to acclimate to the ground. I wanted to grow a little more. And now that it actually has grown quite a lot, now this year we have a good chance of the tree actually holding the fruit. So thank you guys everyone for watching this video on my red llama flower and tree under the diversifolia or under the macrophilia. Now, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm not sure which botanical name to go by. And if you know why it has two botanical names, please let me know in the comments below. And also stay tuned because I'll actually be making an uh, Anona Diversifolia or Red Alama t-shirt just like the Sugar Apple one. And like I said, I really want to make a bunch of cool uh, merchandise for Ananasia because I think this fruit group is really cool. And I believe that everyone should have their own Ananasia t-shirt, Sugar Apple t-shirt, at the Atemodio t-shirt, whatever stickers, you name it. And like I said, I'm going to do my best to get those out for you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support and all your comments you write to me. I read every comment and I try my best to reply to everyone. So once again, thank you guys so much. I'm Harley from Garden NFL and I hope you enjoyed this Red Alama flower video. I hope you have a good day and bye-bye now.